All right. So what we're gonna do here is take the the stuff that's in the Maker Shield kit and solder it all together, and we're gonna end up with uh, a prototyping shield um, that we can use with the with the Arduino. Um, it's just gonna basically it's just gonna stack together. That way you can um, use it to prototype. All right, so I'm not actually going to solder all this stuff together just because it would take uh, way too much time. Um, but you can pause and play as you need to to figure out what goes where. It's all kind of self-explanatory. I mean, it looks kind of crazy when you're looking at it like this, but as we go on, you'll see that everything has a spot and everything, most everything is labeled uh, where it needs to go. It's pretty nice. All right, so the first thing we'll do is add um, the LEDs, and on the board there's a little spot. Put that in here for reference. There's a spot here that says um, LED one, and it has a plus sign on one side. And as we know, the longer lead on the LED is positive, so you're gonna stick the longer lead into the uh, the positive side or the plus on the plus side and the best way to do it is just to bend the leads back and go ahead um, and solder and then clip your leads off as close as you can get it um, so here's mine let's see where is it at so right here I got I got it put in and then I cut all the leads as close as I can uh, without breaking the solder. Um, and so yeah, we'll just go on. Um, the next one, you're gonna, on the other side, the opposite side of the board, there's an LED2 slot and the same thing, you're gonna put the long lead in to the positive side. If I can get it in there, left hand. All right, and solder that in. And then we'll move on and put, um, let's see, we'll put the resistors in for the, for the LEDs. And right next to each LED, there's an, uh, an R1 and an R2. And they're not polarized, so it doesn't matter which way you put them in. Uh, so just make sure you get them in the two holes by R1 and R2. And um, I got them sitting upright so it fits on the board better and same thing you're just gonna solder the back clip the leads off make sure none of the leads are touching each other and move on and so do the same thing for the other side you have two resistors they each have a place There we go. Got those in. Um, next thing we can do is you can put the buttons on. There's right next to the logo. You have um, button one, and then next to the red LED we have button two. Oh, excuse me, reset. Um, and the way these work, they just snap in. You still have to solder them down, but they. Um, it's pretty nice. You fit them in the way they fit. It doesn't matter which way they go in as long as you get them to snap in. Um, solder the back side again. You have to solder all this stuff. Alright, and then you got your reset button. So those are good. And then we'll put in our capacitors. And these aren't polarized either. And these go um, on the other end over here next to TX and RX. Um, you're going to stick those in, uh, solder them one at a time, that way it's easier to work with. Uh, put that one in, solder it, and then get your potentiometer. Alright, and this is the 6-pin um, ICSP header, goes in 
the ICSP slot for six pins. Um, you're going to put the short leads in on the top so the long leads stick up. And then next, you're going to use, um, if I can find it, the this is a, a four pin female header because it gets you can stick things into it. Uh, and that goes right next to the ICSP um, header um, on the four slots that read pot one, LED two, LED one, and button one. So you stick that in, solder the back side just like everything else, um, and move on. And then you have this three pin header that is going to go in uh, next to your red or excuse me next to your LED2 um, resistor there's three slots for it or three holes for it and they read 5 volt pot 1 and 3v3 and you stick the short end in there like that and then you can stick in your potentiometer doesn't matter what order you put these things in I'm just uh, giving you a reference here um, there's only one way this goes in, so you can stick that in and solder that in. And um, I should have mentioned whenever we did, I'll go back and do it. Whenever um, after you get this uh, this three-pin header soldered in, you can use this little piece to decide whether you want five volts or three volts. So these back two pins on the 5 volt side like that or you can take it off and replace it on the other pin the other, the other pin uh, and then it would be a 3 volt uh, so we'll put this back on right there. oh that was fantastic good job that's what happens when you don't solder stuff Right. I hope you're still in view. Yeah, yeah, looks like it. All right, and for the last um, four, it's pretty easy. You got your six-pin header. It goes in this slot here, where they have six holes. Same with this six-pin. Goes on the same side with the other six holes on the outside of the board. And on this side, you have an 8 pin that goes on these 8. And this 8 pin goes in these 8. There you go. And like I said, you don't actually just put them in like that. You want to do them one at a time and solder them. All of the pins, you're going to clip off all the pins or all the leads, excuse me, um, on the back side besides the two six pin females and the eight pin females. And the reason you leave those, um, maybe I mentioned it before, but the reason you leave those is so you can connect them to your Arduino board and start prototyping. So it should fit snugly on there nice and flush and then you're ready to go you just plug up and then you can start prototyping